Welcome everybody to Filmora FX and today we're going to talk about the new Filmora 11 new blue effects. This is built right into your Filmora 11. You don't need to do anything. It comes with it and I've loaded a stock image here that we can mess around with and the first we, we got uh, one two three four categories and a Titler Pro application. We're going to go through all of these real quick for you and show you how they work. This first one here is called Metallic. It's out of the Stylizer category. And you can immediately see what it does. But I think it's important that you know if you double click these, you can move into all of the different options available. And many, many of these also have presets built in for you. You can move that to chill, you can change the color profile to whatever you want, go into a yellowish color, you can reduce the shine, so look at the water. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do inside of each one of these. Take the ripple for effect, I use that in the demo. Uh, double click again. Preset, flow down, funhouse mirror, Lazy water. Now I kind of like lazy water. That that almost looks realistic to me. And we can modify it. Back it down a little bit. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et oh, that's a lot of work. So there's lots of fun things you can do with the stylizer. Let me show you briefly what we got here. There are 35 of them. I've downloaded some of them so you can look at them. Here's Earthquake. <laughs> so see, they're not all static. Some of the effects are motion. I'll just play that regular time so you can see it. That is definitely an Earthquake. And that'd be great for roller coaster scenes, uh, some horror movie, things like that you want to do. And you can, once again, set the big one. Go to boat. Let's see, boat probably means rocking. Let's find out. Yep, little rock in motion. And let's look at uh, one more here, real quick, before we move on. This is called hand drawn. Gives an amazing effect. That was a chalk drawing. What if you want a dark canvas? Let's go to nighttime, rich colors. you get the idea new blue effects is really going to enhance your videos guys let's look at elements active camera alpha processor auto pan background image mapper uh, flying picture in picture is one i put in the demo i'll show you you get the idea and then you can go in you can have another photo behind it for example ease in fall away uh, start hold you can go to the start point I mean, you, you can really get detailed on this one guys I mean really detailed how many times you want a video to do that uh, a lot <laughs> now it's pretty easy uh, what other elements do we have that I can show you a uh, reflection okay so now it's kinda like you're looking out a, a bus window or something like that angled insert left let's go for lake reflection okay you get the idea take those out for you and let's move down to filters I love the filter category I use um, filters in my videos quite often this one's called day for night okay. some of these you will need to set the presets so that's day for night, dark, dark sky. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that effect. I could use that in my next video easily. A little too dark for me. There we go. Intense, I like that. Yeah, these are great. Okay, what else do we got in handy without downloading? Uh, spotlight is pretty cool. Let's get one going here. Uh, Art House Dreams. Look at that. Can you imagine? And you also you understand you can drag these effects across too, so you can get it in the entire clip, whatever you're trying to achieve there. 
You can also adjust the shape of that light, change the size, if you want to try to focus in on something. Get rid of those, and let's go to Essentials. Essentials Video Tune-Up Plus. Uh, I'm going to start downloading that one. Oh, there he is. I haven't actually seen this one, so let's do it. We'll see it together. Video Tune-Up Plus. Uh, two to one blacks. Oh, I see what we're doing. Very nice. Very nice. A little tune, they call it. Black and white, bloom, flat. Brighten. Oh, I like Brighten. And, uh, oh, what a quick and easy way to add some color, contrast, light and dark to your video. That is really nice. You can save that preset if you want, and then just use it every time. Washed out, whatever. Yeah, hey, I like that one, guys. Uh, let's do another one. Um, Detail by Luma. Okay, now you look at the detail pop. This I did this one in my demonstration as well. It's called Clean Mids, Crisp the Highs, Strong Shadows. I, this is this is one of my favorite ones actually. Uh, no mask, highlight mask. You can get pretty involved here, y'all. And just like in regular Filmora, uh, I'm going to take that out for one second to show you something. Just like in regular Filmora, I can take the detail by Luma and drop it directly onto the clip. So instead of adding it to a track now, it's in there. You can double click it, go over here to effect, and go back into my options. But now I have it in the entire thing. So if I want to just crispen the whole thing up, boom, got it. Let's let that uh, render real fast. It's good enough. Now we can just see the first part of it rendered. Oh, that is definitely crisp. Love it. And finally, we have Tyler Pro. Tyler Pro uh, is an application that I am still trying to learn. I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to show you that it is in here. And uh, we'll just drag it down. Double click it. I'm going to show you what you got to do to use this one. So, starts by putting some text there. But this one does require you to open it in a separate application. And you can do everything you need to do over here. And whatever you do over here in the 3D Titler program will go back over to Filmora 11 when you save and close the program. And that is New Blue Effects. Very powerful built right into Filmora 11. You're going to love it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave me some comments. Hit that like button for me. And I'll see you real soon on the next Filmora 11 video.